Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today we are looking at a special piece of equipment. We're looking at a long range Wi Fi bridge or extender. Let's get into it. All right, this is what you get in the box. We'll just pull it out here. This is by Adelov, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's a smart wireless bridge that's weatherproof and suitable for extending or transmitting Wi-Fi over long distances. All right, so the units are made out of, looks to be kind of a molded plastic. It's got the Adelov brand on it. This is going to be your, your signal strength and indicators here. Got your uh, serial numbers, etc. And this, I presume, will be the wireless. Yeah. This will be the plug. This uses a uh, power over Ethernet PoE to power up these units. So you'll plug this into the plug, plug in the Ethernet cable from this and to your unit, and it'll provide power. Then you've got your user manual, which is looks to be actually very. It's it's all in color, which you 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 know you, I shouldn't be surprised by that, but honestly I am because a lot of times it's not that great. According to the spec sheets, this has a wireless transmission rate of 900 megabits per second, which is quite fast. It uses a 5.8 gigahertz um, frequency, um, and it is supposed to be able to transmit over up to five kilometers. I will have to do some translation into miles, but I'm going to say that's what, approximately three miles, something like that. We'll see. All right. I'm I might have to come back to this manual, but I'm honestly going to try to set this up without even having to use the manual because I want to see how simple it is to use. As far as the mounting gear, you've got four larger metal hose clamps. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to see how that comes in. Then you've got a very Let's see your external mount here. Let's just pick that up, Art, real quick. Just, you know, very nicely packaged. Um, this is all metal, which is good. Obviously, if you're going to have this outside, you're going to want it to be a metal construction. You got your, your uh, wing nuts here that for loosening and tightening. You can see how that works. We'll worry about sliding those in later, but got those so you come with two of these mounts so obviously this is designed and intended for outdoor use now you can obviously use it indoors but it's nice to know that it's uh it was kind of built and intended for external use um so you, you know, don't have to have any concerns about you know will it bear up to the weather and the rain and snow and all those things all right and then you got a couple of uh screws to you know, as well as anchors if you are mounting them indoors. Quick recap of what you get. You get two plugs with uh, for the ethernet cords. You get two ethernet cords. that will provide power over ethernet. You get two small uh, ho metal hose clamps. You get the two units. You get the two mounts and then you get four hose clamps and as well as some screws. Uh, the hose clamps according to this illustration is to, if you can hopefully see this, is if you're clamping it to, like, say, a metal pole, you can clamp, uh, use the, the hose clamps to clamp to it. Um, alternatively, of course, you can mount it to, to boards. That makes sense. Okay, so taking one of the main units, it's pretty clear. You take this, you can squeeze this off, this comes out, and you got your two Ethernet um, ports. You've got your switch for... I don't know if this is going to show, but it says A and B. So you're going to switch, you know, depending on which is your master unit, you'll switch to A. Or at least this is my guess. And uh, if you got a slave unit or um, receiving unit, you'll switch to B. You can also have a barrel plug for power, but I think mostly this is going to be power over Ethernet. All right, pardon the janky surge protector, but the first step is to plug. I plugged in the, the plug unit, and then I plugged in the Ethernet cable into to that. Next, I'm going to take this unit, I have it set as A, and then I'm going to plug it in. I don't think it matters which port, we will see. 
All right, looks like I'm getting power from that, so that's awesome. So it is at least powering it up. The next step is I'm going to need to connect it to my actual internet so that it will transmit it. Here I have plugged in my second ethernet cord which runs up to my Wi-Fi system which again don't judge me this is kind of the way the Metronet guys installed it and I haven't really cleaned it up so on the to-do project but not right now I'm just going to mount these screws in here hopefully make it easy enough to put the main unit on yep there we go all right so that all right now we are out in my detached garage which is a good distance from the house i'm going to set up the other unit see if we can receive and get good wi-fi here i've been wanting to get wi-fi out to this outbuilding because uh, i have a smart garage door opener that depends on a good stable wi-fi signal i got a few other electronics that uses internet of things and whatnot so this is a good test it's pretty not... much like before we're going to plug in the unit I'm going to take this ethernet cord which will provide power over ethernet and then we're going to take off this bottom plate it doesn't matter here where we plug it in it should provide power Let's stretch this out a little bit all right plugged make sure i've got this set to b which is what i want I've got a little light, which is probably a good start. I've got a little light here. Just to zoom in, you can see it is connected. If this signal is to be believed, it's got an extremely strong signal, and it's time for us to do a little testing. Um, but there's uh, a few settings that you can do with these units, right? So there's the switch that uh, between A and B. If you set it to A, that means this works as a transmitter, um, broadcasting the signal out to the unit that is set to B, which is a receiver. This is really cool because you can buy many of these units. So let's say you bought like six of them. You could have one uh, in A mode, transmitting mode, and set all the other five to B to be receivers. So you could have one out in your uh, detached garage. You could have one out by your well house. You could have wherever you need it, right? Like within a, within a range, they could all be receiving off of this transmitter. That's pretty cool. Additionally, you could have a couple of these set as transmitters and then maybe four of those set as receivers. So you could broadcast this one off in one direction and, and broadcast the others off in another direction, perhaps. Um, that's pretty useful. The other thing that's very interesting is you see, uh, I'm going to turn this right side up. You see this three, I hope that's showing up. Yeah, uh, three, right? So that's the channel. This actually has many, many channels that you can, you can cycle through. Um, and you just set the, obviously, the receiving unit on the same one. Uh, so it's got uh, 0 through 9, then it's got A, B, C, I think all the way up to F. So you have quite a few different um, channels that you can set to. Um, so if you want to have some on one channel versus uh, others on a different channel, you can totally do that. And then, of course, once you change it, it's going to take a few seconds to, to reset before it starts to... Uh, to broadcast. <clears throat> okay, a few other things I want to point out about this. So I, I covered that it has multiple channels. You basically set it in, um, you know, what they call master or slave mode or, or transmitter and receiver mode. And, uh, you know, this one's in transmitter mode. The other one out in the outbuilding is, is in receiver mode. Pretty simple. Uh, this can, is, that's point to point, right? You can also have point to multi-point. You could have several pointing back at this and so on. You can also, this is right now in bridge mode, so it's sending over there. I can also turn on the Wi-Fi on this, and now I have a wireless access point here in this room where I could connect on my phone or other uh, devices that are wireless. I could connect to this as like a Wi-Fi wi router, kind of like, um, again, an access point. Also on the unit out, in, in my garage currently, I could turn on the Wi-Fi there and have that as a wireless access point. It's tricky to do, it's difficult to do. It's not just as simple as like hitting a switch on it. I really wish it was, it's not. I'll go over that in a minute. You actually have to get an ethernet cord, plug into it, pull up your browser, type in an IP address, 
get into the settings of these things in order to turn those settings on. That's super um, not user friendly, I would say in this day and age. Uh, I was able to figure it out, but I don't know that everyone would. Um, not to say that there's not people out there <laughs> that aren't much smarter than I that could figure this out, no problem. I just like to go by the premise of if I can figure something out, probably anyone can figure, figure it out. All right, we are now about a mile and a half from my house. Uh, I cheated and grabbed my truck and went for a ride because I didn't want to walk <laughs> in this heat. So I've got it plugged into the um, to my to an outlet here in the truck, and then I've got this uh, set up here in the in the car. So we're gonna see if it connects. There it is. So we got a full signal, which is great. Um, all right, so I've got everything mounted now. I actually did use the kind of the uh, included external mount, internal external mount, um, which is really nice because it allows you to pivot the uh, unit so it faces in the direction of the other unit, which is strongly recommended in the manual and hopefully will result in better uh, wireless transmission. So I got it all set up, it's connected. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to do a speed test. Hopefully I'll be able to put it up on the screen. Uh, and we'll see just what kind of uh, numbers we get. All right, so we're gonna go to, we'll just go to Google and run their speed test. That's probably be fine. First, real quick, I'll just make sure that I am on, yep, I'm on the Netgear 2G is what, what I named this access point and now we will launch a speed test. So getting about 30 megs down um, and probably approximately, yeah, well, I was gonna say probably under 20, but yeah, about 17 uh, megs up. That's, um, significantly less than what I would get at my main unit where my main modem uh, I have Metronet and I probably get I don't know 300 400 meg down and um, 50 to 100 up at the source now obviously anytime you do any kind of wireless transmission even in the house I'm not going to see those kind of numbers but considering how far we are from the house several walls some dirt <laughs> a hill uh, probably not bad. Okay, uh, I think that's going to wrap up this review. Uh, I've been moderately pleased with the bridge. Uh, I think it's done a great job of, of transmitting um, a, you know, a, a decent signal across a very long distance and again, a lot of obstacles in the way. And I think that um, it's, it was well, definitely going to work for my purposes, which was to get Wi-Fi out here in the out, out building, out garage. Uh, and I think it would work in most people's situation, uh, particularly if you have a clear line of sight. I mean, it's going to work so much better. Mine is kind of a unique use case. Um, so I'm definitely not getting the full five kilometer range that's advertised. Um, but that's mainly due to the terrain and what I got going on. There are ways you can improve that. I could certainly uh, send my transmitter up higher, I could mount it outside the house um, and I could mount my receiver outside the garage. That would um, certainly, I'm sure, improve the transmission rate, but it's good enough for what I need here in, in the house uh, or in the garage. So I think that, that'll that do it. Uh, hopefully this was useful for you. If you um, like it, there's gonna be plenty more videos coming, so please hit the subscribe button um, and I'll put a link to the to the bridge um, product, an Amazon link uh, at the at the bottom of the of this <laughs> video. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.